This is question number three. We're told figure one shows a logo ABD. The logo is formed from triangle ABC. The midpoint of AC is D and BC is equal to AD, which is equal to DC, which is equal to six centimeters. The angle BCA is 0.4 radians. The curve BD is an arc of a circle with center C and radius six centimeters. In part A for one mark, we're asked to write down the length of the arc BD. So here's BD. In general, we can say that the arc length is R theta. So the arc is R theta, where R is the radius and theta is the angle measured in radians. So we can say that BD is going to be equal to six multiplied by 0 0.4, and that's going to give us 2.4, and that will be centimeters. So 2.4 centimetres for one mark. In part B, we're asked to find the length of AB. The question carries three marks. If we do a little sketch here, what we've got is a triangle. We've got a length of 6, we've got one of 12, and an angle now of 0 0.4 radians. So if I just go ahead and uh, just do a quick sketch, let's just go ahead and do that. This is not massively accurate, I'll just give you some idea. So this is going to be the 12, this is going to be 6, this is going to be the 0 0.4. So if we want to find the length, we can use the cosine rule. So we could call this one A, we could call this big A, the angle, this one right here B, and this one C. The cosine rule is given in the formula book, and we have that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So on here now, if we look at this, we can say that this length right here, AB, AB is going to be equal to the square root now of B squared, which is going to give me 36, plus C squared, which is going to give me 144. Then we'll have minus two lots of B, which is 6, multiplied by C, which is 12, multiplied by the cosine of 0 0.4 radians. Make sure you, when you're doing this, your calculator is in radians mode. So let's go ahead and get the calculator. Shift mode 4. That'll put it in radians mode. And we're going to have a square root of 36 plus 144. Then we'll have minus now 2 times by the 6 times by the 12 times by the cosine now of 0.4. And this will give us our answer. So 6.88. And I'll just write this down. So we've got now here. AB is equal to 6.88, and that's centimetres, and that now is to three significant figures. So that's that part done. In part C, we need to write down the perimeter of the logo ABD, giving our answer to three significant figures. So if we think about this now, all we need is A to B to D. So we can see here that A to B is what we've just found. We've got now A to D, which is 6. And also, we've worked out now, BD is 2.4. So what we're going to have on here is the 6 plus the 6.88 dot 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 plus now the 2.4. So this is now going to give us just adding 8.4 to this. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I just add 8.4 to my answer, there are the other two sides. We can say now that this is 15.28. So 15.28... 15.28 dot 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 so we can say 15.3 centimeters and that now is to three significant figures so 3sf so all we've done here is simply now taken ad which is the six we've taken ab which is our 6.88 and we've added to it now 2.4 which is the arc length